Hello, this is Broyer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for Football Manager 2023 as we continue our Road to Glory run with Benbury United FC. Uh, we have had very mixed results since the last episode. A win, a loss, and a draw. That's about as mixed as you can get. Uh, we have picked up a few new players. Uh, the transfer window has just closed. We picked up a few more players um, on the day before and the day of the transfer window ending. So we'll take a look at those. I don't know if they're going to be good. We're just kind of throwing, throwing whatever stuff at the wall and see what sticks kind of thing. Um, and for also we, we got a job inter uh, interview offer for a number, like a, a playoff level team in a premier level league. We'll get into that as well. Let's get right into the episode. All right, here we are. As you can see, the, the last game you guys saw was the Ipswich loss. Very disappointing, a loss there. Uh, we then went up against QPR and drew against them 3-3. Three to three. We did get a goal from uh, Kirby, a goal from Charles, and a goal from Alibi in this game. We also had Balagizzi get sent off. More about that here in a moment. Um, truth be told, we did not deserve the draw. Uh, they, um, they played better than us, quite frankly, uh, even though they did have an own goal from us. They played better than us. We we rescued the draw. We'll take it, I guess. I mean, it happens to us all the time. So every once in a while, we got to do it to somebody else. Uh, we then up against Wigan at home. Not even hitting a five thousand fans in this one. Uh, we did get a go from Matheson in this game, and that was it. Lab did get sent off. Uh, Lab's one of our uh, like 18, 19 year olds, something like that. We just brought him back from loan just to kind of fill in in some spots. Uh, he got sent off here, but otherwise, we did okay. Uh, we went up against Blackburn. Blackburn's the number four team in the league. Very, very good team. Very strong team. Truth be told, the fact that we only lost by two felt pretty good at the end of the day. Uh, and that is, in fact, obviously what happened there. So we are currently 14th in the league. Not bad. Uh, we're still eight points clear of, of the uh, relegation zone. So feeling mostly good about things. Uh, I mean, I don't still don't like the negative goal differential, but that's just going to have to be how it is for right now. Uh, Blackburn's actually up to second place now. So obviously losing to them. Not too upsetting at the end of the day. Um, today we play Wolves, who is currently, I think, 10th. 10th. And we play West Brom, who is currently 20th. So definitely the West Brom game is a winnable game. The Wolves game, last time we played them, we drew uh, right there. So I think it's also a winnable game, honestly, because we drew against them away from home. You got to figure our fans, as small as the number as they may be, might be worth half a goal. So you never know. We might We might get a win here. Um, other than that, uh, we did get a job offer, like I said, from, uh, San, Real San Sebastian here. Actually, they're down in seventh place now, but pretty good team in the Spanish first division. Uh, I say a job offer. We got a job interview offer, not necessarily a job offer. I didn't, I actually didn't take the interview because obviously we're not interested in going away, but it's cool to see teams like this of this caliber are interested of four-star reputation teams, whereas we are sitting in a... What, three star? Two and a half star. Not even three star. Two and a half star reputation right now. So pretty big reputation jump. And look at that number right there. Oof. We have climbed so well. Um, as far as uh anything else we need to talk about, we do need to talk about the transfers. We did pick up a couple transfers on leading up to or on a deadline day. I think you guys saw Wayne Baker here. He came in on loan from Blackburn of all places. Uh he comes in here as a good central defender, 33 star ability, goes as high as five star overall. Um, I mean, six point eight. 7.0 7 uh, down in League 2. Uh, 6.8. That's better than what our guys have been playing at. So, honestly, felt like a guy worth bringing in. At least, if nothing else, give us some rotation, things of that nature. Uh, we then brought in a Jay Haddo. We did pay for him. He's he, he, not a huge price. Not a very big price at all. But uh, we did have to pay for him. He comes in here as a guy that can play on the right-hand side. 3.5 star current ability. Could go as high as 4 star. 27 years old. So, again, not terrible in League 2. Although his two games that he's played with us, not super great. We'll still give him some more chances to see what he can do. We're really just trying to see if something will stick, like I said. Uh, we then brought in Isaac Holland. Again, paid for him. Both of these guys were brought in by my director of football, and I decided that, you know what, I didn't have any specific reasons not to bring them in, so we did go ahead and do that. Uh, Holland comes in here as a defensive midfielder, which is something we were very much lacking. I mean, he can play midfield as well, but we're currently playing defensive midfielders, and we don't have anybody that truly plays well at defensive midfield spot. He's only played one game for us, 6.5. Honestly, not the most amazing player in the world, but he's a player that Cardiff thought was worth 400,000 pounds two years ago, and we got him for 42. I figured that's worth a, worth, worth a roll of the dice. We'll see what happens. Uh, and then we picked up two loanies from Norwich here. 
Uh, Remy Dafter here comes in here. He, we are paying a little bit of a fee for him. I think there's a future fee potential for him as well. He's actually a guy who's a proper wing back on the left-hand side. Uh, Three-star current ability. Actually, could be as high as four-star current ability. Four-star potential. 24 years old. So, again, unfortunately, we do have to register him. And then we got Edward Lambert here. Uh, he comes in here as a 20-year-old, so we do not have to register him. Central back could play technically on the left side if we ever got him trained up that way, but primarily as a rotation player for our center back roles. Uh, man, our bot guy, Campbell here, hasn't done... I mean, he's 6.76. He's probably one of our better central defenders, but he's not like a 7.0 superstar that we paid 500000 for. So a little disappointing in that, but uh, he's about the only one that we've put in big money for recently. So there we go. Not a lot of money out. We're just trying to get something just to survive here. See if we can get anybody that looks good that we can have for next season. Things like that. That's really what we're looking for right now. Um, other than that, yeah, I think that's it. Let's go ahead and get right into this uh, episode. Oh, oh that's what I'm saying. Balagizzi, no longer registered. He has played so atrociously bad. Uh, and obviously getting the red card there kind of helped make the decision even easier. We have unregistered him. He is out of the team. And as far as I'm concerned, he can go away because he just has not worked out. Uh, Kalinga is also unregistered right now. That's mostly because he's not, in theory, as good a player right now. Um, that is not because we want to get rid of him necessarily. Um, who else do we have unregistered? Tabiner is unregistered. He has just played a, a, a terribly bad, honestly. 6.57 average rating. I mean, his training is pretty good, but that's it. 6.4 over the last five games. He just played po po poorly. Garrity's played poorly. He's on, on a 6.56. We are moving him out. And of course, I think Kamara was always been out. So... I mean, some of these guys, I would like to try and keep around for a little bit longer, see if they develop again, give them another chance. But with such limited spots, we've got to pick and choose who's who's performing, and some of these guys are just not performing at all. Now, that's not to say that these new guys we brought in will perform either, but we got to give them a shot. Uh, here's the team we're bringing in today for our game against Wolves. Zaki Go. we got Baker, Bell, and Katango across the back. Chizoba on the left, Matheson on the right, Oyedil and Holland coming in into our defensive midfield spots. Uh, Lab comes on the left-hand side. Kirby comes on the right-hand side. Alibi as our shadow striker. See what he can do for us today. Still dealing with some injuries. Uh, Dickinson's injured. Heckman's injured. Richie's injured. Actually, Heckman's not even registered, is he? Uh, he might be underage. Is he underage? Uh, 21 years old. Uh, doesn't say he's unregistered, so I think he might. Um, I don't think he... Uh, I guess we haven't registered. Maybe we do. Honestly, I haven't played him that much, so I don't remember. <laughs> Uh, but we do have Chilvers coming back from injury, Salisbury coming back from injury, Lab obviously coming back from injury, but seems well enough to play today, so we shall see what happens. Let's go ahead and get into this. I have zero expectations, honestly, coming into this Wolves game. I do want to win the West Brom game. This game, not very high expectations, if I were to be perfectly honest. Which I guess saying not very high expectations is the exact, is not the same as saying zero expectations, right? That means I do have expectations, just not high ones, so... I guess that's my true expectations, is that my expectations are not very high. <laughs> the truth comes out. I mean, I'll be honest, I don't think we found a good formation for us. This is not the formation for the future for us. It really isn't. Uh, it's just a formation to try and survive this season. That's really all this formation's purpose is right now. And then we want to try and get us a better formation next season. That's it's really where I'm sitting at right now. Survive, to fight another day, and hopefully when we fight that other day, We'll have a better formation. Of course, giving up a goal in the first minute here uh, does not feel good. I guess technically the second minute, but you know what I mean. Yes, the odds are coming in quick and in a fury. Come on, guys. Now, when I said I didn't have very high expectations, that doesn't mean I want to lose the game in the first minute of the game. There's Baker with the ball. Over to Bell. Up to Holland. Over to Oyedel. Up over to the lab. Lab. I'm not sure what that was, buddy. There's Holland getting his foot in there. Almost gets a good takeaway. Fortunately, not quite good enough. Uh, and then we're going to give up a goal here. Seems about right. Get this. Come on, guys. I don't know why we sometimes play good, sometimes play so poorly. We're very inconsistent. And we haven't even gotten a goal today. It's our home fans. We drew it against this team like two months ago, a month and a half ago, something like that. 
Matheson would throw in. That should have gone in. Honestly, we deserve that to go in. But obviously, we're going to demand more here because the team is just falling absolutely flat. Really? Really? We're going to give something up here at the very, very, very end? Okay, then. You have been terrible. Sort it out. I 100% agree with that sentiment. All right, I got to get some sort of swap here. Obviously, Lab playing. I don't even know what he's doing. He's not doing... He's not playing the game, that's for sure. Um, Do we bring you in? Do we bring Chilvers in? We'll bring Chilvers in, I guess. Honestly, we got to do another sub here as well. We got to get something here in the middle. Uh, got to trust Salisbury. Huh. I mean, obviously, if we can't bring out Zach, we're not going to bring him out just because he's playing poorly at this point. Our backup goalkeeper is not really any better. Honestly, I might swap Oyudel up here, see what he can do. And we're going to give... We don't really have anybody can come in here, do we? All right, Baker can come into that spot. Do we not? I think I forgot to set up my de defense on the... Or my stuff on the bench. Um, normally, I let the AI kind of control some things, but... I, I usually try to go back there and sort a little bit of the bench out. Apparently, I did not this time. Uh, Chilvers then is going to come across, and we're going to give uh, Dafter a spot in here instead. And we'll bring Sturge in as well. All right, that looks good. Oh, I guess we... I mean, I don't think it's going to matter at this point, to be perfectly honest. A little bit higher tempo... We're going to get stuck in. I'm going to push the block up a little bit. Start pressing a little bit higher, and we're also going to go a little bit more when attacking. All right, last sub of the game. Really, nobody didn't come in here. All right, Matheson comes out. And that's it. I'd be happy if we got a goal. At this point. Or be happy if we stopped giving up goals. At this, I love that. How many How many guys had a first goal of the season in this game? At least two of them did, for sure. That's how it always is, right? I mean, I'll give Zach Attack a lot of the um, blame for this. I think he's made some very, very dumb mistakes today. Really, can we just stop the bleeding here? Come on, Dafter, show me what you got. Oh, that's what you got. Okay, I got you. I mean, they're on a 1.44 and they've got four goals. A little bit of an FMing. Maybe we deserve it, but a little bit of an FMing. Just saying. They are not a four goal better team than us. 
that that's 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 not that's not a thing. Not not at this not not this team specifically. Now again, maybe some of the maybe Stoke is a four goal better or even six goal better team than us. This team is not four goals better than us. Yeah, absolutely. Sort it out, buddy. Like you made some stupid mistakes. Uh. All right, if we can rescue you a win against the next team, it will not be a complete disaster of a episode. So we'll be right back. All right, we're back for a game against West Brom here, a game that I expect to win. Um, uh, I don't know that we will win, but I, that's my expectation coming to this game. We got Zach and Goal, Lambert, Campbell, Foran across the back, Sturge, Mobai, Oedel, and Haddo in our midfield, Lab on the left, Kirby on the right, and Charles as our attacking midfielder in the center, a shadow strike over there. Let's see if we can get just... we got to have a better game than the last game. Come on. And again, this formation is not good. I get it. I, I, I don't... I'm not... I'm personally not a fan of this formation. But we can score with this formation. We've seen that. We can win games with this formation. We've seen that. We can get draws with this formation. We've seen that. Um, so it's not like the formation is just completely flat, completely dead. We have done good things with this formation. At least good enough for where we our expectations are. Our expectations are dead last in this league. We are by far not dead last in this league. So the formation is is fine from the from overachieving the goals of the season, which was just just avoid relegation. That's all the goals were, is just avoid relegation. And we are definitely doing that. So successful formation from that perspective, but definitely not a formation for the future. I don't I don't like this formation for the long long term. Now, if we just completely start start losing every single game, we will have to make changes earlier than the end of the season. But for now, a loss here and there, a draw here and there, those are not enough as long as we're still getting a few wins as well. Okay, that's a better, better game from you, Zach, already. Let's go. I think Wolves are a team that could consider themselves with a good run of form here in the second half of the season in, in the playoff contention. So losing to them, not the absolute end of the world. I still don't think they're a four goal team better than us, but the loss to them, that's fine. I mean, it, it, it's, it's not the loss specifically that bothers me. It's how we lost that bothers me. Okay. Okay. I mean, we're still drawn coming in towards the halftime. I don't know that I like that. I feel like we should have gotten something on this team by now, especially at home. There's Mabai with the ball. Gets it over to Lab. Lab has not really done much for us. Kirby with the ball here. Here we go. Oh my goodness. Don't take these away from us. <laughs> All right, that's on Kirby. He's got to get back for that one. Had one shot. Oh, lab. Did you get it, buddy? Looks like you got it. Good job, buddy. Way to redeem yourself a bit. Well, I mean, it wasn't your fault that we had the offsides, but you have not played super well since we brought you back from loan. Um, that, that worked. We'll take that one, though. Got a little bit lucky there. I'll give you that. But we'll take it. We'll let the guys play out a little bit longer. Come on, come on, play some defense. All right. Come on, guys. Just hang on here. Three points on the episode is actually an extremely good episode. I mean, to avoid relegation, we just got to be a hair above one point per game. So three points on two games, 
is much more than a hair above. <laughs> that's, that's a really good result. So we can take that if we can keep it up. Um, Oyadel, obviously extremely tired. We'll definitely bring him out here. Bring Baker in. Mm, Hatto is not playing well. We'll bring Dafter into that spot. Give him a chance. Yeah, we'll call that for now. All right, uh, 70 minute mark. Lab's a little bit tired and on a yellow card. I mean, he's got the one goal, but he got a little bit lucky, so I'm not going to really necessarily judge his current performance based on that one goal, I don't think. Let's bring Hurd in for Kirby, though. We don't really have anybody can play for Lab. Unless we move da Dafter over there, but we don't have anybody bring that spot either, so no, this is fine. And then I think we're going to go ahead and bring, we're going to bring Salisbury back in. We're going to give him a chance today. We're going to hold on to the last one. Guys, just hold on. Hold on. Ugh, come on, guys. All right, last substitute. Um, I don't do here. We'll bring Dafter across to the left, and we'll bring in Laget here. Laget, however you want to say it. Who we have not really been doing a good job with because he's not a wingback. And he's actually a much better player than we've been playing him as because I think he is, at least. Because he's just not been in a role that he's really super familiar with. We got the win. Not by much, but a win is a win. That counts. We will take it. Three points on the day. On the episode, I should say. I will gladly take that. Uh, we are now 11 points clear of relegation. Much, much, much better. Feeling pretty good about that. So we can definitely slip up a few more times, which we will. We definitely will. We got Sunderland coming up, who's ranked fifth. We're definitely slipping up a few more times. But not too bad there. All right. Well, that's it for today's episode. Next episode, I actually might play quite a few games and come down here for this Oxford, who's 23rd, and Coventry, who's 20th. Two teams that we would be competing against to stay out of relegation with. So I actually think that would be a good matchup. So we'll probably come back for those. Uh, we do have a fifth ranked team, fourth ranked team. Crews should be an hopefully an easy one for us. Burnley, we've beaten them twice. We hopefully can beat them again. Millwall. So there's a few, there's a potential for some points in here before we even get to Oxford and Coventry. We shall see what we can do. But I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you. And I hope you join me again next time. Thank you and goodbye. I wanted to give a special shout out to the following channel members. Thank you so much for supporting the channel.